getting back into action. Plus, a seven-year-old girl goes missing after she says a principal tells her to get on the wrong bus. I see a great day coming for our country, and I am eager for the work ahead. But first, George W. Bush prepares for four more years as President of the United States. Action News 36, 11 at 11 starts now. Good evening and welcome to Action News 36, 11 at 11. Tonight's stories and tomorrow's forecast in 11 minutes. I'm Megan Newquist. And I'm Don Hudson. We now know President Bush will serve four more years. On Monday night, we told you the election would really come down to Florida, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Once Pennsylvania and Florida split for John Kerry and President Bush, all eyes turned to Ohio. And this morning, Senator Kerry finally conceded George Bush had the votes to win. Tonight, Ohio residents and their state's provisional vote counting process are out of the spotlight, and that's really fine by them. Today, they told Action News 36 that they're actually glad that things won't drag on with the legal challenges that could have happened. While Ohio officials count thousands of provisional ballots, Mr. Bush gets ready for another term. Here's ABC's Nancy Weiner with more. 